Well, it is the next day, it's afternoon, and this little guy isn't out yet, so we have helped him a little bit. You can see um, the big butterfly like circles. We took those off for him with just a pair of tweezers, and then there's this real thin membrane that he can still push through. So we want him to still do the work for him, but he basically slept most of the night. I checked on him a couple of times, and his head is sideways here with his beak sticking up. So he's trying to get himself out, but I think he's um, kind of tight in there and can't quite push it. So we're going to give him, he said that it can take 24 hours, we'll give him a little while longer and he will be out of there tonight. As soon as I was done making that last segment, I saw that there was another little eggshell here and we have another chick starting to pip. That is the breaking the egg open. So they're coming along. Way better. I can see his little head. Yeah. Keep and pushing there, little chickie. Yeah. He'll come out. He'll be out today. He'll be out tonight. And this one has a crack in it. But it looks like there's a little puddle of liquid down here, so I don't think that that was a good egg. I think one of the boys might have cracked it. But maybe, but maybe, so. but maybe uh, one of them had to go potty. <laughs> maybe they went potty? Uh-huh. Well, I think Murdoch might have cracked that one because it's a real big opening. It's not a little pip. Look at him go. Yep. We're going to have some chicks in the house. Yeah. Okay, well, I had.